requirement is that you need a compatible Sega Dreamcast. How do you check to see if your Dreamcast is compatible? Well, you're going to flip it over. And right here on the back, there's a big black label for uh, with all like the manufacturing details and all that stuff. Well, let's just let's zoom down here and check and see if it says NTSC. If it says NTSC, yeah, you're good, you're compatible, you're good to go. If it says PAL, ah, you're out of luck. You're going to have to get a Sega Dreamcast from the United States. Uh, we'll run you a, a little shy of 100 bucks, get a controller and everything there. So I will leave a, uh, a link in the description for the cheapest Sega Dreamcast I could find for you. Just in case that is you, because I want all of you guys to experience Half-Life on the Sega Dreamcast. Our next requirement is that you have a CDR, a disc that has at least 700 megabytes that can hold 80 minutes of media and has uh, write speeds up to 52 times. Doesn't need to go any higher than that. The disc uh, storage does not need to go any higher than that. You can get a stack of these. I got this for about t under 20 bucks, if I remember right. They're pretty cheap. You could go on, um, uh, even Walgreens sells them. A stack this big for about $6.99, and there you go, you'll get on it. But I'm assuming most of you uh, hardcore Dreamcast burners will have a ton of them, and probably some people will just have them lying around the house. So this is the next thing you need. The last and final thing you will need is a computer. Not just any computer. It needs to be a computer with a disk drive one like this. Um, it just it needs to have a disk drive that can write. Most modern disk drives write. If your computer is, I'd say, over 15 years old, it's probably not going to have one. Uh, my first computer definitely did not have a disk drive that uh, would write, but it did have a CD drive. So they've been around for a while, and I bet I bet you yours has one if it has a disk drive. It, it could be a uh, Mac, by the way, and the steps will be pretty much the same on a Mac. I cannot guarantee your Mac will have a disk drive because, you know, those forward thinkers at Apple don't even have USBs on their MacBooks anymore. But if you have a, an older Mac or a desktop Mac, you might be able to, you might have a uh, disk drive and you can always get yourself a uh, USB disk drive if you have to. But yep, that's that's all you need. You need a Dreamcast, disc, and a computer. And next is the computer steps. Follow along with me. It's not too hard, but it can get confusing. I'll try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. So before we do anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my disc into the into the computer here. And I'm just gonna, you know, get it in there. It doesn't matter, it'll load up. It, if you're on Windows 10, it will say, hey, do you want to do something with this? Just go ahead and click take no action. You don't need to do anything with it. And I will see you on my computer. But here, oh, here it is. Take no action at the moment. All right, so first things first, we're going to get you set up with the program you need. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the computer section of the Half-Life for the Sega Dreamcast tutorial. Now, this is the probably the hardest part of the tutorial, so I do urge you to attention um, go grab yourself a hot cup of coffee or tea or whatever whatever gets you in the zone to download some Sega Dreamcast games all right so the first link you're gonna want to click in the description is WinRAR all right so once you click WinRAR you're gonna go to a site that looks like this now that's a lot going on Ethan yeah I know okay but just Go to this one. The second one, you see that it says WinRAR X64 64-bit, or or if you if you know, it shouldn't matter. But if you really want the 32-bit version, because you know you have 32-bit Windows, get that. But just get this version. And if you're on Mac, well, get the Mac version. It's right down here. All right. So, ba bam. And obviously, if you're on Linux, get that. But you save file, and you're gonna want to go through it just like any other setup. Um, just like with the IMG burn setup we're going to go through. So you save file, and I'm on Firefox, if it's on Chrome it's going to pop up down here at the bottom. Down at the bottom, okay? But uh, if you're up here, it's on Firefox, up in the corner, my face is blocking it. I'm just going to get rid of that face for momentarily. Alright, WinRAR. Uh, do you want this to make changes to your device? You're going to click yes, because how else is it going to? 
and as you see, my virus software automatically scanned it. There's no viruses here. Hey, Ethan's not trying to pull a fast one. I just want you to be able to play Half Life. I mean, I just want to spread the spread the Half Life knowledge. Okay. So see that? Wait a minute. You hit. Uh, you make sure that's the place you want it to go. For most cases, I'd say yes. Install. Uh, hit OK. And done. You're done. You're golden. Okay. Bam. All right. Hit that second link in the description labeled IMG Burn. What this is going to take you to is the ISO zone. Now this website is great for um, just Sega Dreamcast games and all that sort of thing. But this this is a download for the Sega Dreamcast version of IMG Burn. It has the drivers and everything you need to get going. So hit download. And I just want to say before you get to this site, Fire Drop, I'm sorry, but I mean, seriously, no one has Fire Drop Premium. I and mean, if you have Fire Drop Premium, good for you, man. You must download a lot of stuff, but I don't. You might not. It's You're just going to have to wait, but we'll be patient. You know, be patient like the people who waited for this game to originally come out, because it never came out. I mean, and if you were one of those people, I mean, wow. You really, you deserve better. I mean, they just canceled it on you. So, as you can see, I've already downloaded this, but um, don't worry about that. Um, you're going to open the file. And this is WinRAR's uh, trial, by the way. You'll be on a trial. You can just close out of this, but you might want to consider getting WinRAR in the future. You might not. It doesn't matter for what we're doing. So, you'll get into this. This is just think of this like Windows Explorer, the file explorer you're all used to. And click on things as you normally would. So, click on the first thing set up IMG Burn. Okay. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you up to this. You're going to say, do you want to allow this app to make uh, unknown changes to your device or whatever? And you say yes because it's just a program. And next up is the wizard or the clicky next marathon. So, ready, set, go. Accept. Go. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now it's like, thank you. And you just say, you're welcome, and X out of that tab. And now, my friends, you have IMG Burn. And it's going to click and run IMG Burn. Just let it do it, you know, let it do its thing. And we will be continuing to one of our final steps. Oh, okay, there it goes. All right, and you can get out, get out of here, get to your desktop if you want. Oh, but that reminds me, there's something else. These are the... Uh, these are the, what would you call them? The drivers. And these drivers will need to go into your IMG Burn directory. How do you find your directory? Well, you're going to go to wherever you installed it, which for most cases was on the C program files. And then you go down here to the IMG Burn. Where is that? There you are, buddy. Okay. And as far as I know, you're going to want to put them in here. So I was right, I did not want to give you guys wrong information. So you take this, you can just kind of organize your windows as you choose, or if you're on Mac, you can stay confused for a minute, but figure out how it's just a push click away. But bam, you just, uh, yeah, you can, uh, okay, ignore this part, it'll be normal. I already have these files, so bam. Uh, yep, so you're all good to go. IMG Burn is set up, and we will continue to the final step. Ready? The last step, guys, go ahead and click the last link that says download link, and download the halflife.cdi, and move that to your desktop just for safekeeping. That way you know where it is for when we start the burn process. So once that sucker's all downloaded, go ahead and extract that to the desktop or drag it to your desktop just for safekeeping, just so we know where it's at. And uh, I closed IMG Burn, you might not have, but make sure your IMG Burn's open and click on Write File to Disk or Write Image File to Disk. All right. Next, you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure you have your drive mounted, which it should be good to go if you just installed it. it was for me. If you have any questions, as always, I will be answering them in the comments just to make sure everybody can get up and running. And go to your desktop and go to Half Life D 
PC restoration. Now at this point, if you didn't already put your disk in your computer drive, make sure you do that. And uh, uh, we're going to want to also make sure, this is a crucial part, make sure you set your write speed to 4. Don't let it go all the way to 52, alright? Put it to 4. That'll minimize the disk errors and the write errors and all that stuff to make sure you're all set and ready to go. Alright? And whenever you're ready, whenever you gathered the nerve, you're going to hit this big button right here. And you're going to write! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Look at this. We have success. Here that comes up. We got success. Look at that. Look at that. Welcome to Half-Life for the Sega Dreamcast. Everyone. Well, as you can see, we have Half-Life. This project was a success, and if you got all the way there and if it worked for you please subscribe and leave a like on this video but if not I'm here okay uh, if you have any questions go ahead and just put them in the comments and I will see it and I will answer it I will make sure that you my friend have half-life on your Sega Dreamcast there's no problem there so please just don't don't hesitate to ask a question uh, I know some common ones are like uh, read write errors on IMG burn I'll help you with that. I made sure all the links work as of today when I'm posting it, and I'll keep updating the links just to make sure because I want this tutorial to be relevant for as long as possible, alright? So, everyone have a good day. Enjoy playing Half-Life. 